Hi everyone. Today's lesson is going to be a little less relaxing and a little more not safe for work, I think. But I believe there's some really important vocabulary that you should learn here. The topic I want to cover today is democracy. We say democratia. Democratia. One of the pillars of democracy are elections. Izbori. Izbori. That's a masculine noun and it comes in plural. Elections. For example, Izbori su se održali ovog juna u Srbiji, jer nije više bilo opasnosti od koronavirusa. Meaning, elections were held this June in Serbia because there was no longer any danger from the coronavirus. The next important word we have is something that's illegal and that's to falsify, to rig, to frame. And we say falsificovati, but also lažirati. That comes from laž, the word for lie. Falsificovati or lažirati. For example, one could falsify data, falsificovati podatke. Or you could falsify elections, falsificovati izbore. One could also falsify diplomas, like, uh, you know, a doctorate or a faculty diploma, falsificovati diplome. If people feel something harms them in a democracy, they use their right to assembly and the right to freedom of speech to protest. And the word in Serbian for protest is quite the same. Protest. Now here's something that you normally don't see in a democracy, and that's brutalnost. Brutality. Brutalnost. Interestingly, this noun is of feminine gender. Like police brutality, we would say policijska brutalnost. In a democracy, you have the rule of law. If you do something that's against the law, you might be facing detention. Detention in Serbian is pritvor. Pritvor. Detention. Like, if you're a sexual offender, you might be getting detention. Or if you're carrying a banner on a protest, you might be also facing detention. We would say things like Sexualnom predatoru određen je pritvor od tri meseca. Or, za nošenje transparenta studentu određen pritvor od mesec dana. And that's all for today. Have a good one!